what we are actually trying to do with the simulation is that we are trying to calculate several cash flows uh, across the list term, giving the ranges of each component, and then compare each cash flow to the equipment lease and see what are the probabilities that the equipment lease will actually exceed some of these cash flows. Using the knowledge that we know so far, we can establish a distribution for each component, then use the parameter of this distribution to sample random values from them and use these random values to calculate the cash flow and then compare the cash flow to the actual installment cost. Now it's time to look at the probability of a loss, which is when the discounted cash flow, cash flow if you want to compare cash flow directly, is less than the least. The x-axis we have all the discounted cash flows and on the y-axis we have the accounts of uh, the occurrence of each of these cash flows. The red line represents the value of the lease. We can say that there is an 18% chance of losing money because this area here amounts to 